Welcome to Escanar guys, we're going to give you a bit of a tour around. Entrada Beach Club. Good morning guys, welcome back to the second part of the uh, the videos. I buy uh, I buy her I buy her revisited. <laughs> I'm buy for revisited. No, I be for revisit what? Ibiza revisited. Oh Rivita revisited Vitado like me yo. So welcome back to uh, the videos guys. Uh, it's day two here on our I be for revisited videos. Anyway, we just got up from uh, last night. We just got up from last night. Of course we did. <laughs> we we just... have to. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got up this morning. <laughs> All nice, fresh in the day. So we had a really good sleep in them beds. So today's plans are to have a nice chill this morning. The sun lounges after breakfast. Have a bit of lunch. And then we'll probably venture out to, we've decided on Calalonga. Yeah, Calalonga. It's the first place we visited when we came to Ibiza. Mm. So, when we stayed at. Another little place that's got a special place in our hearts. Yeah, when we stayed at uh, Hotel Montemar. Is that right? Global's Montemar. Global yeah. Montemar. That was our first ever visit to Ibiza. We're going to go down to breakfast now. Hopefully, we can show you what we've got for breakfast. Apparently, it's really good. So, we're uh, looking forward to that. So, yeah, see you soon. Another banger of a breakfast, wasn't it? It was lovely. What do you reckon? Yeah. Just in case you didn't see yesterday, but this is the foyer of the um, the hotel. And you got the restaurant there. We're just gonna go out to our sun lounger for the afternoon. The toilets for the pool. The pool toilets are downstairs there. Really? Yeah. I'll just pee in the pool. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking guys. You can clearly see that all the sun lounges have been taken up by towels. Well yeah, the going back on the breakfast, it's uh, we obviously we've been away quite a few times. Never have we uh, been to a hotel that serves black pudding in the morning. And I like me black pudding. It's good variety. The cakes are absolutely brilliant. Not had any, but um, like your um, pasties and croissants and pastries. Your pastries and croissants. And uh, yeah, your little cakes look amazing this morning. Uh, glazed donuts, oof, yeah. But uh, yeah, I just had what I, what, what I had on my plate. If you haven't seen yesterday's videos and seen what we got up to, go and check that out. I'll just stay by the pool now. This is our spot for the afternoon. Aqua Gym's gonna start in a minute. Aqua Gym! Clevin. You know that Clevin goes round, does the Aqua Gym. He's quite energetic, he's the lad. I'll put him on video in a minute.
Applauso, Applauso. Applauso. Aqua G. The camera. Are you ready? So. I said, are you ready? Wow. I pool guys we're um, got some good entertainment around that pool just had to put the air con on because it's um, absolutely boiling we're just sat in the car we're off to uh, Calalonga now it's been about uh, 30 degrees all day we're absolutely sweating me and Debbie we've got some good suntan yeah there's some good entertainment around that pool what I would say though the uh, the pool is um, it's it's so it is big but the majority of people that's at this hotel at the moment, we found that um, it's quite cramped. So if you want to get around and have a bit of a swim in there, it's impossible. Um, but yeah, we just decided to go longer now. Show you guys around there just before uh, tea time. <laughs> what do you say? I said I bet it's disgusting. It was there, disgusting. It? Uh, I've literally just left my door open and uh, stuck the aircon on to be honest with oh, you. It's, it's, it's absolutely minging. Yeah. Um, I was just telling these guys about the pool area, what do you reckon? Yeah, it's good. It's a nice pool. Yeah? Yeah, it's not big enough though. That's what, that is exactly what I've just said. Yeah, I don't think the pool's big enough for the amount of people in the hotel. Mm. And it, oh, I think the downfall to it is the inflatable side, you're not supposed to have inflatables in there. So. Yeah, but it's understandable really because you put... You can see why now, yeah. yeah. there's like a few kids with big uh, inflatables in there, then there's going to be definitely no room for people to move about. But yeah, it's only a small little little gripe really of ours, but we all managed to look to, to get on with it. Plus on the plus side, the entertainment is Bob Omni. Um Yeah, loads going on in the day, isn't there? Yeah, and obviously they'll try and get you to do water polo and um aerobics, archery, archery darts, football, um stuff Everything. like that. Yeah, Everything. yeah. You're not obliged to do it obviously, but if you do feel like you want a bit of activity during the day, there's plenty going on. Um, yeah, and they keep the kids in entertained. Um, so yeah, we're going to head off down to Calalonga now. We're going to go before tea, because um, tea's till about uh, half nine anyway, so we'll come back a bit later on. I uh, just want to show you guys uh, what, what's down there at Calalonga, because it's one of our, another, another one of our special, another of our special little uh, gems of Ibiza uh, that we really love. So yeah, we'll go and visit down there.
the centre of Kalawonga, but we haven't really been at this peak, have we? Where it's been really busy. No, yeah, we've never been in peak. It's, like, it's been, usually it's like quiet when we come here, but it's pretty busy today. So we've just parked on this little dirt park, uh, car parking area, and I'll show you the cars that are just absolutely covered in sand and dust. What do you reckon yeah. to that temperature? It's a bit of a shock when you get out. <laughs> Isn't out it? Isn't it? When you've been used to this like nice heated aircon. Air, not nice heated. Nice cool aircon. Yeah, and you come out and you come out to look how dusty these cars are. Look. Yeah, we'll come back. We won't recognise the cars. Yeah, they're not covered in dust. Yeah, so it's white now. When we come yeah. back, it'll be grey. I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No, no. This is a build up of a lot. This isn't it. It is. I mean, these cars must stay here for a, for a little while. You'll have to show, you'll have to get the camera on the one on the way. Oh, look at that little Jeep. Oh, that's pretty that's sick, cute. isn't it? That'd be, well, that'd be well nice to mooch about in. Yeah, the, the car on the way in, the cars on the way in, with that dirty people have actually wrote on the window. Oh, that's how dirty they are. Yeah, filthy. As I said, I don't think some of these cars go anywhere apart from here. That's a cute little Jeep. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Why are my shoes doing this? It's definitely the sort of vehicle that you need out here anyway. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah these look at the oh, state yeah. of them. But this is like a really weird sandy clay. Is that France? I don't think so. This is France. Espana. Viva, Viva Espana. Feco. Yeah, they couldn't possibly charge it to park on here. Yeah, you're right. You should be charging them to wash your car. After you've been <laughs> <on it>. Charging <laughs> them, yeah. You're right. You're right with that one. Yep. Thank you, Lanka. In fact, I'm going to charge them to wash my feet as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're Even though do, uh, some tourists do come here, it's very Spanish still. Very in Spanish. Yeah, isn't I think Calalonga is probably the, the most rustic Spanish part around where we are. It's not as touristy. Yeah. Okay, see little bushes. I, I love them trees up there, mate. Them trees yeah, up there. The zigzag, I call them yeah. zigzag trees because they go up and down in the it's really like, straight line. It's weird how nature works. I'd say, it, to me, it looks like the pyramids were built out of trees. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you have to get your car wash afterwards. Oh, it doesn't matter. So yeah, this is the start of uh, Kalalonga, guys. There's not really that much here, really, but I'm walking in the road like a local. Huh? Again? I said I'm walking in the road like a local. You are actually, yeah. <laughs> I think in a minute, it's more like actually God, look at all these empty units there. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. This is the, this is like cost of living for you as well, isn't it? Is There's it plenty of these. You'll see these art shops. There's loads of them about in Ibiza. It's like their main shopping centre name, yeah. Art. It's, it's yeah, shopping Ibiza, isn't it? Art. Yeah. It's like their big brand or something. I guess it's like a Tesco or something. These hotels are nice. Yeah, they they're beautiful. And the waterfall, couldn't you just run in that? Oh, nice cool, yeah. Do you know what? Cool actually, down. I know it's only like the first full day, but I've already climatised. Have you? Yeah, I'm, I'm alright with the heat now. Yeah, I feel like I am as well. I love the. Uh, so there's a Hyde Hotel. This is a lovely little bar. Yeah, it is. What's this one called? Darts and Grill. Darts and Grill. Nice little uh, funky place. I like the like Yeah. You know when you're in Kalalonga and you can see that in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. It's the trees that gives it for me. Yeah. As soon as you see these zigzag trees, you know you're in Kalalonga. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful entrance. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Beautiful entrance. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. We'll get in the middle of it all.
perfect day to come to Kalalonga is on a Thursday because they do set up like a little mini market. It's, a, it's the mini hippie market, isn't it? it? Is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Lots of handbags. Though. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to go to the big one, they do a little small one in Kalalonga on the Thursday, and I think the uh, the big one's Wednesday, is it? Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, oh, yeah, how cute is that? I forgot that. Beautiful. That's a mint way of uh, mint way of clearing bins. Yeah. 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 I don't think. Hello. No, we've never been here before when it's uh, when they've had the markets yeah, on here. Yeah, they setting up last time I was here. It was on Thursday. Right. But it, I think they do it in the afternoon. Okay. Beautiful. I'll just pan it round. This is on the beach here. This is where the market is. Okay. Stunning. Yeah, look. There's the Yeah, yeah, we've... Um, it's a small hippie market. So here it is. Here's the sign. From 6 p.m. Well, they were setting up earlier than that, so don't let that don't let that uh, sway yet, because they are here earlier. Yeah, they are. So I like to get it out, don't we? Why not? Get it out, like, man with an old umbrella hat. The locals hiding from the sun. They're That's it. Sick of it, don't they? They probably love it when it rains. <laughs> yeah. Nice smell of hippie weed. Um, yeah, that's all I like Lovely, lovely smell of hippie weed. That's it, marijuana. There we go. Beautiful. Uh -huh. That's it. I remember these. I do. Huh? Do some uh, exercises if you wanted to outside. Uh, it's a bit warm. Spin the camera around. To show you around and that. Ooh. As you can tell, it's very Spanish out here. It was only uh, 19 minutes away from our hotel, so it wasn't that long, was it? 19 minutes in the car. But well, there is uh, plenty of stuff here to do for the kids. We've got a nice little park with sand. It's all built with sand. It's shaded as well. It is very shaded, yeah. yeah. Seating area and in the shade. Last time we, we came here, the uh, the locals bring the, the little ones down after school, don't they? So, we've got a bit more of the market on the right here. And then you've got some restaurants. You've got Flippers and uh, Gala. Gula. And is it Gula? Terramar. Terramar, yeah. There's not, uh, there's not anything up there. We've already been down that way one, one somewhere. Oh well, yeah, beautiful little place. We'll walk back this way because I don't want to go right across the sand. There is a walkway that you can walk to. All oh, right, we're going that way around. Okay. Yeah, back, back through the uh, the markets, the mini market. We've just found a little poster stuck to the uh, this thing here, and it's Kalalonga presenting cinema at the beach. So they're gonna sh the show. It's a family cinema on the beach on a Sunday evening at quarter past nine. And th at the moment, they're showing like Super Mario uh, Brothers. Seventh of the seventh until the fourteenth. So last week it was Super Mario. This week it's the Goonies. That's good, isn't it? What is that? This tree. This tree's the bane of my life. <laughs> Wee! We've got the shuttle boat going out. Beautiful, isn't it? Yep, somebody's on our bench. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right about that. I am. Someone sat on our bench, unfortunately. They've got a few beers with us. It looks like they're sitting there for a while. <laughs> Look how that. Uh, Look how that boat's just taking off. It's off, isn't it? That. 
not taking off, babe. Taking off, is that? that? Took off up there. Nice little plane up there, look. Oh, watch the tree. I don't think it's quite level. I know, yeah, it just looks like it. So yeah, we're going to go on that uh, that little ferry uh, later this week. Get some uh, footage on there for you guys. It's really nice. Them waters are absolutely crisp, aren't they? Yeah, beautiful. Uh, beautiful. You just can't beat this place. You can't. It's lovely. There's the ferry info, guys. Four Mentaries, 44 euros. You got IB for town, 28 euros. Santa Eulalia, 18 euros. And then Escanar is uh, 22 euros. That's where we're staying. But um, yeah, that's the map. You usually can get your tickets from this place here, but uh, I think that one that I think that one that just went out it was the uh, the last one. It's got a nice little bridge. Beautiful. Absolutely love it here. How crisp that water is. It's literally pr uh, transparent. Sexy that. <laughs> anyway, so what we've done. So what we're done in, oh, yeah, what we're done in, <laughs> because the uh, there's two nice Spanish uh, guys down there having a bit of a bevy on the bench, going to be there for a while. We've come to the other bench and we've uh, put the mark in there instead. T and D, 24. So we've been here. 22, 23, and 24. 24 every and year. And it's going to carry on because there's no way we could go a year without not coming here. There's no way. But we might run out of benches because we might get in next year. <laughs> if somebody sat on that bench and sat on this bench, we'll have to find another bench to hedge. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might think it's a bit of a graffiti thing, but we're not graffitiing because oh. it, it seems to be like a bit of a... It's a thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a thing. It's artistic. It's just a bench. Yeah. And, you know, it's there. It's a bit of artistry. I can see, I can see if one of us ends up dying, we're going to end up scattering like our ashes around here, aren't Yeah, we? that's it. <laughs> chuck us in, chuck us over there. That's it. Stick us in this bit. This is where we belong. Callalong. Gah. Oh, there's a nice breeze here as well because you've either say there's a little bit of a breeze. There is. I bet they got a nice breeze on that ferry that's just gone out. Beautiful. Yeah. But anyway, that's Calla. That's kind of longer, guys. So uh, we're gonna head back soon. And Unfortunately, it was a shorter video of Keller longer. <laughs> Sorry, just had to say that. Yeah. Hey, well, yeah. I'm Excuse me, cracking the jokes. I'm, I'm laughing at me own dad <laughs> jokes here. I know. It's not, it's not going down well. No, but it was funny though. It was good. Anyway. Yeah, it was a bit of a short video for Calong and there's not much going on, but it's a bit of a special place in our hearts, so we thought we'd uh, we'll let you guys have a look and see what it's like here. If you ever want to stay out here, there's a hotel called Globus Montemo, which we stayed at the first time we ever came to Ibiza together, which was really nice. It's a little small one though, and it's up in the hills. So if you, uh, you are the older generation, I wouldn't recommend it because there's a lot of hills that you have to walk up and down to get down here and then go back up to the hotel. Um, but for the rest of you, yeah, it's probably perfect. Um, I've not, we've not really tried any of the whole other hotels around here, so we can't really say. Um, but they do look nice. I mean, if I show you here, I spin the camera around. There's one just over there. There's one just over there, and then there's one over there. So there is a few places to stay. Um, not sure what the prices will be like, but I'm sure you can find that out for yourself. Anyway. We're gonna go back to the hotel now. It's nearly tea time. And even, it's like, what, seven o'clock here? Um, yeah, about half six. Yeah, oh, half about six half six. six. And it's still about 28 degrees. Yeah, 28 degrees it's still. We're absolutely sweating. We've been for a shower and everything. We've been for a shower and everything. We're still sweating. So yeah, we're gonna head back now to the car and um, get some tea, which we already showed you, it was pretty good. 
if you've not seen the last video go and check that out now and uh, see what we did yesterday it's after tea we're going to take you around Escanor hopefully then it would cool down a bit and uh, we can have a walk around there and show you guys the rest of where we are actually staying yeah see you there Welcome to Escanar guys, we're going to give you a bit of a tour around. First of all, we're outside of Charlie's, this is a well known place. For um, a few parties here. A few parties. Yeah, it is, it is the uh, live youth bar here. Correct, it's got a nice little bar outside. A couple of DJs later on. Booming some music out. But yeah, if you ever want to watch the football, probably the best place to come to. They have like a tribute act song. They have like a... Uh, Tina Turner, Adele, they have all tribute bands on singers. Michael Uberle, yeah. Saxophone. She said exactly the same. Yeah, we just had our tea, guys, so we're going to give you a bit of a walk around Escanor. What do you reckon, babe? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit quiet still, isn't it? In the place would be booming after. A little fair over there. I think this is the bus terminal. The bus terminal. So if you ever want to get the bus down here, this is the place to be. Slap bang in the middle of Escanar. So we're just going to have a walk down here. A nice little fountain here in the middle. You want to freshen off because you're sweating your tits off like us. But yeah, if you want to get the taxis and buses, that's the main part of it here. And there's Escanar Apartmentos. Got some shops down there. Barbecue, grill. Yeah, such a lovely little place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Exciting, eh? Where are we going down there? Can we walk down here? I have no idea, because I didn't come this way. So. Follow them, they know where they're going. I think there's a pathway to get to the other bar. Oh, yeah. Paradise Garden Restaurant. Yeah, yeah. It's got, um, I think this is the back end of this restaurant yeah, here, isn't it? Saying, you just, you oh, look at these right tables. Then. Uh -huh. They're like Fred Flintstone tables, aren't they? Yabba dabba do. Stick them in your house. This one's called M and M. You got these? Office. Yeah, a bit of Marshall. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work anymore. It's a bit <laughs> She's got her babies out. Where? They all have. <laughs> oh yeah. I thought you actually meant some girls down there with boobies out. Oh yeah, so, I remember this pool actually. But so what's this? This is part this of this. Is for the apartment. This is for that. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit separate, isn't it? Look at this. Love it. Buddha. I don't know where they got these chairs from. They're nice, aren't they? He looks miserable, doesn't he? Huh? 
So if you like to uh, drink like Fred Flintstone, this is the place to be. Very quirky. Isn't it? Got nice, nice views for... Bohemian feel to it. Bohemian, that's the word, yeah. So you can watch... Um, oh, got a nice little sun lounger there. Yeah. Looking out of the sea, that's beautiful. 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 Have a nice little restaurant there, Magnata. Yeah, just off the beach. Have your food and that, and then they enjoy the pleasures of your surroundings. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, Mananga party, Saturday the 13th, 8 pm for the Bang Bang. Fucking DJ Bang Bang. Get in, lad. <laughs> Salads, 16, 19, 17, 19. Ooh. Goat's cheese. Ooh, Let's have a look, look. Entrada Beach Club. Plenty of them spots, but yeah. I mean, there's plenty of car parking spaces, isn't it? But they are tariffed. So if you uh, if you have got a car and you're not from, well, your hotel's not over this side, you want to come and visit, there is plenty of parking. But there you go. So I don't understand the minutes, 0.015. No, me neither. understand that. They've got their own thing, but uh, there's them trees. How funky them? There's about 12, 13 of them are dotted around there. So, this is called Marijuana. It's the, what's it called? Mama Juana. Mama Juana. Mama Juana. What a place. Another little uh, funky restaurant. Mama Juana. This is a funky little building, isn't it? Yeah. Now, this, is, this does give me the Fred Flintstone vibes. Eh? Yeah. So this is uh, Ella Des Cana Restaurant. It doesn't look really like a restaurant. It doesn't. There's, not, here. there's not much going. Fred, 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 Fred's out at the moment. He's gone. Is that oh, oh no way. So probably. I mean, Fred Flintstone had to put his rent up, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Fred and Barney's didn't let it out properly. Put the, uh, you know, I think it's a bit of a Fred Flintstone house. It is, isn't it? It's empty, I think, because Fred put his uh, <laughs> put his rent up too much and they can't pay it, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it is. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Yeah, got a nice breeze here as well. Should we price it up? Yeah, we'll price it up. <laughs> anyway, guys, enjoy. See ya. Hang on, babe. Look at that for a view for the window. What a lot. Yeah. How they make a feature out of the palm trees. Yeah, like that is put true. That, all that wood and, and gravel in the bottom of the palm tree, that must be a really old one because, yeah. I mean, look at the size of it. It's lovely. And do you know, I noticed um, at the swimming pool, there was a man that uses a ladder to get to the top of the palm tree to yeah. water it from the top. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, because they won't get that much rain out they here. Don't, do they know? Well, not through the summer season anyway. Not. So. I like that though, it looks nice. It does. Yeah. But anyway, that is. Hang on, I'll swing it back around. That's pretty much Escanar, guys. There's not really much here. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> much else, gracias, go for four. No. That's about as much as it is. Um, if you like your restaurants and your, your dining out and eating out or what have you. There's plenty here, Loads. but there's not a lot on the beach. Um, yeah, I think me and Debbie's just going to get a drink now. I'm going to find a spot, get a drink and chill out in front of that beautiful sea there. And just think of what we could be doing in 10 years time. <laughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. But yeah, right, so what we're going to do after here anyway, we're going to chill out. My legs are sore now, I've been running around today, haven't we? Swollen feet. Yeah, with the heat. Um, so we're going to sign off now for tonight and we'll see you guys on the next video it will be probably probably much old gracias por favor adios ciao no it's ciao isn't it yeah it's, it's ciao but anyway 
if you haven't seen the last video make sure you do I'll put the link on the end of this video so you can watch it straight from here and uh, if you haven't already make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one Thank you.